Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial wherever you may be, where today I'm going to actually do something um, uh, with pants, the last time we did uh, how to reduce uh, your pant legs, today we'll go, we're still going to do the same thing, but we're going to do something else. Because this method is um, how to sew um, turn up hem. Uh, the, the idea is that when you look at these pants, this is turn up. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing. This is turn up pants. See? Like this. Now they turn it up. So that is turn up pants. But the, this turn up hem actually also is long. And if you want to, if with this turn up hem, you can actually have it for um, ladies' pants, you can have it for men's pants, that are with um, their suits, you can have this type of pant. It's really classic pant. But today, we are going to um, take care of this, this ladies' pant. The lady just bought it, it's still quite new. She didn't even wear it. Where the reason is sometimes you know when you buy uh, trousers in the in the store or pants, the um, you can have your size, your waist size, but sometimes the length is a bit too long or too short. So therefore, especially when it is too long and you like it, you can buy it and then you reduce the size. So we're going to reduce this size, but how are we going to do it now? Let me just show you guys. You see, it is actually torn up uh, hem so you can see at the edges here that is um stitches it's actually stitches here they actually uh, did it like uh just stitching dish that's what they call it so you don't really see it so you don't really see it so it is when you are busy with it then you can't you will be able to find it yeah. so that is it so i will just lose that up so make sure that when you are doing your pants, as we already know, you measure your length, you put it on, put it on, then you, you measure your pants with your tape measure, then after that, you put it on and you can measure it with a marker, and then you know what you have to do. So now that we have, now you see the turn off uh, is loose, so you can see, but still it is quite uh, long. So what we're going to do now is that this um, fabric that it was used as turn up, that is what we're going to remove. Because when we remove that, the length will just be okay. Let me show you guys. Um, you can see when you have it, let me just see, about seven and a half centimeter. Seven and a half centimeter, which is about approximately three inches. So that is what we're going to remove. Go with that three inches. So what they did was that when they fold it in, they actually fold two and a half, in, uh, one and a half inches up and one and a half inches down. So that is how they fold it. So when they fold in, half of it they fold up. So let's just show you. Let me just show you how we're going to do now. I could have also just cut it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take my time to actually um, to actually lose it. And that's all. So when you want to actually do it, you make sure that because here now inside I cannot see very well because the uh, hemline was also um, over the use of a locker to do it. So I will just turn it like this and see. So you can see here is uh, easy, and the color they use for the thread is really just suitable for the fabric. So what we're going to do now is that I will use like uh, I will use black to sew it. Huh? I will use black to sew it, but I will use as well some white so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so that's right side there. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, sorry. 
So after you do the fast, Okay, almost done. Okay, we are done. <coughs> Alright, so just remove all the excess thread. So there is how it goes. So, you can go ahead, you can um, iron your work. Iron your work actually. So, and you can see now very visible three inches from here so this is the area we're going to cut out this area so let me just do that right now let me just do that right now so you can open it open it and then <coughs> you just cut it you see the lines visible So after cutting it, next step you do is to iron it so you can proceed to the next level. So now we finish with this one. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I want to actually iron it before I will start uh, other things to do. So I'll iron it nicely. Let me get my, my uh, machine. Okay, use my tower. This is my iron tower. I just put it like this. Okay, so I'm just going to do that now. So, after ironing, so the next step I'm going to do is to 
I tried it with my muffin. Let's get in there. Hold on. Okay, I think this one is not enough. I just decided to do it right here because it's uh, just a little piece. So now I'm going to work on this. So what I'm going to do now is I will go to my overlock machine. I'm going to overlock the the edges round so that everything can be nice and neat. All right. So I will go to my same machine now. Or my overlock. I use my overlock card to do that. So I will drive back. All right. I am back. So now we're going to do our marking and start folding. I got my pins. So now this is uh we need the um, total hem that will go in. We need three inches. All right. So let me mark my three inches. This here, so three inches, this here, so and so three inches. So I will, I will do the other side as well. So let me just roll it, just use my ruler to make the lines very straight. Okay, so that's it. So I will turn it again. Make sure, meanwhile, you already measure your. Your <coughs> measure your 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 measurement. You know that I know that three inches. If I remove it from this pan, then the length will be okay. So that's why I uh, remove three inches. What we turn in, and so that is exactly what we are doing right now. So this is it. So this is the three inches. You can see. So now, what you're going to do now is to turn that three inches in, turn it in, and that is your hemming. Just turn it in. Make sure you see. I use a, a white um, over over a thread to actually do it so you can see what I'm doing. So that's why I, I do that. You see. Okay. So this side is so three inches. Just fold it in. It's really quite simple when you are doing this turn up hem, especially um, whether you are making a new, a new, uh, if you are making a new pound or you are actually amending. It's really quite simple to do. You can see. In no time, I I will finish my work. So it's very 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 simple. Very simple. So the method right now that I'm using now to to do my pants, that is the method that you will then use when you are making your new one. Okay. So, okay. Okay. So okay. let me see. If you find more easier, you can equal just uh, uh, hold it here first, just here to have the um, middle of the front stable. You can see. Then from there, you can just start saying. This fabric is a bit. Uh, there is a form of stretchy on it, so you have to be very careful when you are working with it. Okay. So that is that one. So, so the next step we're going to do now is to actually sew it round. So you will go to your you will go to your sewing machine and you you remove the um, you use the smaller part inside 
you know when you have your sewing machine you always have what to remove in order for you to able to sew your pants so that's what you're going to do so we're going to do that meanwhile i'll just uh, turn it in my app all right so so you guys can see exactly what i'm going to do okay so this is there you can see the marking is around there so i'm going to sew it around all right i'll sew it around around and then after sewing around i will not sh uh we will move to the next step the off foot part okay so i'll be right back Let me show you guys what I've done so far. So this is there. So I've sewn it crown. So I need to I'll just get it pressed quickly. Let it press quickly. I'm not making all that hot because it's kind of uh, delicate fabric. Okay, so that is that. So the next step we're going to do now is when when you when you finish your work, you can always when you wash it, all your marking is gone. So make sure that you use marking that is um, washable. Then it will be it will be nice. Okay. So this is it. So now you do so. You just actually you do it just like normal uh, hem. Whether that this is wider. Okay. So now we're going to do the turn up. Turn up. Okay. So this is how it goes. Now, the next step I'm going to do is just to fold it uh, up. So, you remember we did three and a half, um, we did um, three inches. So, we're going to just turn up one, one and a half inches. See? You can see here, it's one and a half inches to turn up. Okay? So, that's it. So, that's just like this. So that's for this like this. So let me get some things. So I don't hold it like this. I need to enable that pin will enable me to actually get the whole three and a half. Right, so as you fold, you make sure that as you fold, you make sure that it is it is three, it is one and a half, all right? As you fold, it is one and a half. Okay, so let me just turn here. Okay, as you fold, it is one and a half. By the time you you fold it up, you discover that the stitches also will be covered up. The stitches you did will be covered up. Okay. So this is uh, one half good. Okay. See why you need to press it? Otherwise, it will not. Um, it will not relax. It will not relax at all. Okay. So that's it. Let's see. With one and a half inches, it is done. So this is a one and a half. That's one and a half. Yeah, this. It is one and a half. <coughs> Yeah. Press inside as well. That is the All right. So that 
So in order for this pan to able to stand, what we need to do is going to do some rotation. Okay. As you could see now, we have finished. So you see this is the seam. This is the seam here. So you're going to just give it a stitch. You're just going to sew it. Just right there. Hope you guys can see. Just right there, you sew in the dish. Alright, so if you don't really know how to do that, you can actually watch me carefully while I'm doing it. You know, you have the sew, you have the seam here, you sew. There you're going to sew, you're going to sew between here and the hem. And that is sew into the dish. So it is very um, sometimes when you start newly, it's difficult for you to achieve that. But as time goes on, you can able to do it just to sew just right there that stitch. So when you do that, nobody will see that actually. Nobody will see what happened. Nobody will see anything. So here as well, you just do that just so the dish, all right? So I'm going to do mine now, then I will show you guys how it looks like. Okay. Okay. I'm back now. So as you guys can see, it is done. You can see, just sew it in the dish. So nobody see it. Nobody can actually see. You see, the other when you do it with your, with the color of the fabric, nobody will see what you are, what you did. So let me just quickly iron it, so you can see. So that I feel relaxed now. Don't use this thing to do it. You can see it is done, it's beautifully done, it is perfect. So you can see, so this is how you reduce um, your pant length, especially when you have the torn up uh, hem. It is very simple, you can see, this is the simplest way I know how to do it, so I'll show you guys how to do it. So you can go ahead and do that, you can, when you, when you, you have a, Pan that have this torn up, you should not be afraid to do it. You can just um, take it out, take it in within a half an hour. You are done. So the uh, both legs are done now, so it is fine. So I hope you guys, when you have this uh, torn up uh, pan, you guys will not be afraid to do it. It's really quite simple. Or when you have a um, pattern you want to make, you will not be afraid to make this uh, torn up. Uh, Ton of uh, hem is very simple. So I hope you learn something from this today. And uh, if that is the case, just give me a thumbs up and go ahead and practice it. Actually, then when your husband or your boyfriend has something like this, just go ahead and do it. Even though you are not reducing the pant length, maybe get loose or things like that. That is also the same method that you're going to use to fix your pants. All right? So don't be scared to do it. It's very, very simple. You can pause the video. You do it again. Pause again. You do it again. So that's just like this. It's simple as ABC. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. And um, thank you very much, my subscribers. I actually appreciate your your effort. I appreciate whatever you are doing, the comments and you are
Thanksgiving. I, I really, really appreciate that. Okay. So I will say thank you so much again and enjoy your day and have a good day wherever you are. All right. Okay. So goodbye for me. Say goodbye.